The Gojira took over the world nearly as early as the planet began to grow sentient life. There were other titans who were more old like Methuselah, but none were as mighty, intelligent, and in control as the ancestors of Godzilla. For hundreds of millions of years, and through multiple extinction events, they remained as the sole rulers and protectors of the balance on Earth. But then the planet began a drastic changing of the guard. After the extinction of the dinosaurs, life began to diversify. The age of the reptiles was coming to an end, and the dawn of the mammals was underway. The Kongs and humans were coming, and the Gojira could not have guessed what sad fate this would bring to their glorious species. The lore of the Monsterverse is mostly left open for us fans to fill in the gaps, and with some help from the community, we've been able to put together a theory on how and why the war between Godzilla and Kong's kind started. Let's get to it. After the global catastrophe that killed the dinosaurs and most life on the surface of the planet, the Hollow Earth became home to many of the surface animals who retreated down below to avoid the destruction and despair that lasted for thousands of years after the asteroid struck. Some of these creatures were the small mammals who had recently begun to evolve. Now in the Hollow Earth, these animals were encountered by the mysterious energy that flows through that environment, and it kickstarted their evolution. Eventually, some would return to the surface that was now healed, but not all. The first signs of primate creatures in the fossil records date back to around 50 million years ago. These primitive lemurs would also evolve in the Hollow Earth, but some grew much larger than their counterparts. The first monkeys as we know them showed up on the fossil record about 20 to 30 million years ago, and the first sign of a true ape was around 10 million years ago. In the Monsterverse, this allows us to predict that the Kong species likely evolved in a similar, albeit exaggerated, pace as their real-life primates on the surface placing the first Kong to evolve around 10 to 20 million years ago in this theory. Humans were still a ways away at this point, but the pieces were set and the events that would lead to the downfall of the Titans had begun. For nearly 20 million years, all Titans, including the Gojira and Kongs, were mostly at peace, only having conflict for food or territorial disputes, like typical animals. The Kongs had claimed a section of the Hollow Earth as their homeland and mostly kept to themselves at this point. Then evolution continued, and the first humans began to evolve. In the real world, the first humans are estimated to have popped up around 200,000 years ago. This theory uses the idea that humans evolved much earlier than this, maybe thousands of years even, and fills in the gaps as to how we seemingly popped up out of thin air. The Hollow Earth's energy, fueling evolution at an insane rate, led to the creation of mankind. A primitive ape combined with some crazy Hollow Earth juice and blam, humanity. As the first humans evolved, they naturally favored the Kong Titans over the others due to the similarities in their biology. They created settlements near the Kongs and slowly created a mutual respect between the two species that would only grow more powerful with time. As the early humans grew more populated, some decided to set out and create communities of their own. The ones who lived with the Kongs, soon to be called the Iwi, the ones who wanted to do things their own way with no Titan God and the ones who would go on to worship the Gojira due to the atomic reptile's truly godlike presence on the world. These three Hollow Earth communities would live in relative peace for another 170,000 years or more in this theory. Humanity had learned to fit right into this monster-ruled world, even helping the Gojira defend the planet against Ghidorah when he attempted to take over the Earth. A victory was achieved, but this is when the first signs of mistrust began to grow in the Hollow Earth. The Gojira and their human counterparts were not given help by either the Kong community or the outlying human civilization. Let's take a break on this theory for a sec. The Godzilla vs Kong book revealed a good bit of lore in the Monsterverse. It is the reason why we know that the Gojira did grow weary of the Kongs as they began to evolve and use technology to take over the Hollow Earth. So the book did help fill in the gaps, but only a little. The lore is still mostly kept up to debate amongst the fans, so even though this theory makes a lot of sense and it's based on, well, relative evidence, we may truly never know the real story in this fictional monster universe. But anyway, let's get back to my theory. The Kongs and their people were too occupied with technology and building great monuments and structures, and the human outliers had a much more devious plan. The lore of the Monsterverse gives us evidence that at one time, these reclusive humans began to develop a telepathic way of communication with the Titans of the Hollow Earth. This tribe soon realized that they would use this new form of communication to make some serious changes. No longer would humans be ants to the Titans. Time allowed this tribe to learn how to force the lesser Titans into doing their bidding. 
The first mission was to destroy the Gojira tribe and their holy city. Now with their domesticated Titan friends, this could actually be possible. With thousands of humans and dozens of Titans like Angiris, they attack the Gojira worshippers. The result of this battle is the city we see in ruin and sunk in the Hollow Earth in Godzilla King of the Monsters. The Gojira, along with the help of their people and the Mothra species of Titan, were able to stop the attack, killing Angiris and most of the other Titans and attacking humans. But the city was in ruin and thousands lost their lives, including a few Gojira. Now with their population taking a hit and their city destroyed, the remaining Gojira and their humans became paranoid of another attack from here on out. They managed to kill off most of the outlying human group and their titans that wanted to have them destroyed. But they still feared the one community who wanted no part in helping them once again in their time of need, the Kongs and the Iwi. They were the rulers of the world, and the Kongs and their people ignored them one time too many. Back at the Kong civilization, developing a sustainable life and future was the only goal. They had no interest in war. Great throne rooms, weapons, statues, and even farms were built. At this point, the Kongs and Iwi lived in nearly 70% of the Hollow Earth in this theory, quickly starting to unknowingly take over the entire realm for their own. Over time, the Kongs even took note from the now gone lone rebellious human tribe and learned how to tame the larger titans of burden, using them for work and livestock. While no true harm was done here, this was the last straw for the Gojira, who saw this as a repeat of the events that led up to the attack that destroyed their once glorious and balanced Hollow Earth realm. Godzilla and his kind are the perfect embodiment of how nature would create a god in the natural world. For hundreds of millions of years, they lived on. But the planet and its life had drastically changed over the last 60 million odd years, and life was slowly moving away from the perfect world of these reptiles. Critical thinking and toolmaking would soon challenge the more animalistic rule of Gojira. The Kongs and Iwi had not come to their aid multiple times, choosing to stick to their own in times of need, and now they began to grow so beyond the natural world, the world the Gojira ruled, that they were quickly becoming a threat in the eyes of the alpha reptiles. At some point after this, the pressure and mistrust just boiled over for the Gojira, and their people attacked the Kongs and Iwi before they could grow powerful enough to truly challenge them. Perhaps a lone Godzilla decided to make an attack on the Kong community and the Iwi, rampaging for some time like the Gojira liked to do, until the Kongs had enough and ganged up on the reptile, pummeling it to death, getting the resources they need to create their weapons that would go on to aid them in their war against the Gojira. At that point, there was no turning back. Once blood had been spilt between the two tribes, the war had begun. The Kongs and Iwi never wanted to overthrow the Gojira and their worshippers, and the Gojira didn't originally despise the Kongs. Just like a lot of the fighting and war in our real world, it was all due to years of bad communication, unnecessary tribal feuds based on simple differences, and at the end of the day, different opinions on how life should be lived. The Kongs' interest in becoming more human-like had unwillingly brought an end to the normal way of life in the Hollow Earth and it did ultimately lead to the near extinction of all the titans, including most of their kind. And we can't forget that we lost the Earth's greatest early civilizations in this war. The Kongs and Iwi's seclusiveness didn't help them fit in into the world of the Hollow Earth, and the two species striving to work together, man and titan, and build civilization with technology and their efforts to domesticate the less intelligent titans, was a no-go with the Gojira who after hundreds of millions of years of keeping the balance and endless war, had become very grumpy old timers who were tired of others not following their rule. So residents, do you think the Kongs and Iwi are to blame for the destruction of their gods? And even to say the destruction of most of the titans, since we know that a lot of them were killed out during the war? Let me know down in the comments. Once again everyone, this theory is based off of the lore we have, but it is by no means canon, so just keep that in mind. But I hope you enjoyed the story. You know what to do if you want to help out the channel and see more content like this. I don't gotta tell you all. What third do you want to see explored next? Let us know.